Open your eyes big and look at the camera. Hey guys! Welcome to our channel. Thanks for watching. Where we upload two to three times a week. Talk about relevant topics, trending, marriage, relationships, pretty yeah, much. Everything. Yeah, everything. And today we are going to be reading a Reddit thread from TIFU, Today I Up. Uh, and this one, well. What does that mean? What do you mean? T I F. You. Today I Up. Oh. Yes. Okay. Today, I effed up by knocking a third grader's teeth out. How? Third? How no. though? Just how? <laughs> Was this a fist fight? I work as a camp counselor for the YMCA, and every group leader has a walkie, so we can talk to other group leaders to know where everyone is at. Mm. Of course, the radio I was given has a broken antenna, but I have no clue. Mm. It easily would just pull off and on, but I hadn't touched it, so I didn't know that. Uh. Well, around lunchtime, third grader named Hunter was standing about six feet away from me, minding his own business, when he looked at me pretending to throw a baseball. Maybe she got scared. And what, she flinched? And ah! <laughs> <laughs> I saw him do it and I turned into a batter stance. Oh, I see where this is going and swung my radio by the antenna as hard as I could as if I was swinging a bat. Radios are heavy and hard. I was about to say. That's that fast. That's a baseball. That's a real baseball. That's a real baseball. <laughs> like that's that's about the same weight if not thicker than a ba and especially the size of a radio depending on like the walkie. Do they use industrial walkies at the YMCA or do they? Oh, of course, the cheapest. The cheapest? Blocks. Blocks. Mm -hmm. Well, the radio flew off the antenna straight towards Hunter and knocked out his two front teeth. Not only did his teeth come out, but since it hit him square, they shot right down his throat. Stacy! Oh, Lord. I just wonder about the, how much blood accumulated and stuff. Like, oh, it was traumatizing. I think, like, I don't know how much painful it was. Maybe he still had adrenaline going, but... Yeah. I guarantee it was the most traumatizing scene anyone's... The kid's probably like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, you know, <laughs> Not funny. just holding his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> not funny. I'm sorry. Laughing? No, you okay? No, it's not funny. I'm just saying, like, I could just imagine, like, like you said, the blood, and it's just like this traumatic core memory he's gonna have the YMCA <laughs> child care. <laughs> oh, man, it's cheap child care. I mean, you it's get what affordable, you get, guys. Right? You pay for what you get. Not only did his teeth come out, but since they hit him square, they shot right down his throat. One of them he coughed up, but the other one went all the way down. Um, oh, I mean, they're baby teeth, right? I think, uh, yeah, they're. Yeah, they're mostly baby teeth. I mean, I don't know. Our kid lost her front teeth, and she's not she's not in third grade. I mean, uh, it depends. Oh, it comes out in the poop, though. Yeah. It'll come out. Maybe like, they weren't his. Uh, maybe hopefully his baby teeth. I really hope it was his baby mm -hmm. teeth. Nobody wants that dentist. Mm -hmm. I had to file an incident report and explain to my boss and no. Hunter's parents. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> what happened? His mom was so angry and upset with me, she almost wanted to press charges. That's, oh, that's a bit mama. excessive. I mean, it's a mama. I mean, I yeah. get it, but that's a bit excessive. I'm gonna press charges against you. You threw your walk? Well, maybe she didn't believe her. Maybe that could have been it. I could have. But like, shouldn't the son have, or her son, corroborate the story like, oh, hey, mom, yeah, we were playing. Boy around. is in concussion protocol. He don't know what happened. <laughs> but I wonder if there's any witnesses. I mean, that's the incident in itself is they were by themselves. That's true. Then it's like, tell your parents that we were playing baseball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> tell them <laughs> we were playing baseball. She's a group leader. Mm -hmm. So there's, there had to have been other people. I'm assuming, just based mm -hmm. on the wording, that there may have been other witnesses. Or at least security cameras. Imagine they shut the security cameras, they see her wailing on the kid. What did I tell you, Hunter? Keep looking at me sideways. 
Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All you want for Christmas is your what? <laughs> Sorry. I know this is like a serious situation. His dad told me he wasn't too upset and that's one less tooth he has to buy back as a tooth fairy. There we go, dad. Take a positive spin on it. Pretty typical dad is just chill. I was about to say, that is such a dad re response. Like mom is flipping shit and losing it and dad's like, you saved me 10 bucks. I would be, I would be extremely livid. I mean, I don't know what I would do, but I, I would be extremely livid. I don't know if I press charges, but everybody gonna hear my mouth in the YMCA. And the dad was probably like, man, tough enough boy. You know, you got, you got one less tooth. You know, look at you. You got that nice little smile now. You can whistle. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, it wasn't too bad, but I absolutely destroyed the kid's teeth and I pissed off my boss and the kid's mom. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, I mean. You didn't get fired. I hope you didn't get fired. <laughs> It's a great story, though. It was, it was a, it was a pretty. I'm sorry for laughing at your pain. That happens. It does understand. happen. Like I remember my probably worst traumatic childhood core memory is I went to get ice cream. This is back when the ice cream trucks were safe, guys. I don't know about nowadays if I ever let my kid run up to the ice cream truck, unfamiliar van, claiming they're selling ice cream. Nah, but we did it all the time. And I ran up to the ice cream truck. I grabbed any type of change I could find. And I'm standing in the grass and all of a sudden like, I'm just feeling something bite me, bite me. And then it just gets worse. And I look down, ants. I'm standing in the ant hill, not near, in the ant hill, all for some SpongeBob ice cream. And the they were with the gumballs. And they're just attacking me. And I don't think I ever got ice cream after that. Except for when we recently got ice cream with Haven. I, I don't think I went back to another ice cream truck. It was awful. I was screaming. I couldn't find my mom fast enough. Somebody hosed me down. It was awful. It was like, it felt like I was an outcast. <laughs> the right, don't play, man. They don't. Mm -hmm. They attack my little legs, a little chicken legs. Oh, they're dangerous. They are dangerous. And tight, fun fact, tight scared of ants. No, and, yes. no fun. Yes, and I, it's not fun. <laughs> and I'm scared of every other bug. That's why, that's why you make such a good team. Come on, Ty. Come on, don't leave me. That's dangerous. You're not, you're not dabbing me up with the energy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this um, story. It was definitely, um, it was definitely an interesting once in a, I want to say blue moon experience for the people involved. And oh, um, yeah. I liked it. I, I liked think, it too. I think it's insightful, but I was going to say, worst case happen. scenario, you got some views on Reddit, some likes, some <laughs> comments, like, you know, you made other people laugh. I know it's not a funny situation, but I hope that helps you laugh it off and, you know, hope that helps lighten, you know, the story, the mood a bit. Uh, we, as you can probably tell, everything's kind of spooked out behind us. We will be doing a Halloween special episode mm -hmm. coming soon. So definitely don't want to miss out. Like, comment, turn on your notifications. Subscribe. And subscribe mm -hmm. so that way you don't miss it. It's definitely going to be one for the ages. Oh. The ages. Oh, I like that. So until next time. Bye. bye.